Begin! This game is an unworthy, unsatisfying, and completely unnecessary... Reboot! What's the point of having the title DMC Devil May Cry? Devil May Cry, Devil May Cry? Could have just called it Devil May Cry 2013. Kind of like what Square Enix did with Tomb Raider. Or better yet, he could have just skipped out on making the game altogether and continued the story from Devil May Cry 4. Mmm, I wish I had that cliché. We interrupt this cutscene to give a special f you to all the longtime Devil May Cry fans that hated Dante's appearance change. I'm a million years. Insulting your fan base is a Damn, I was half expecting it to be a dark soul. That won't work. Why not? He's bulletproof. Cat says the hunter demon is bulletproof and then some demon mumbo jumbo happens and then for some inexplicable reason all of a sudden we can shoot the bastard. It's working. You can fight him now. Game design. How much of your childhood do you remember? Uh, not much. I had meningitis when I was seven. Wiped my memory. Why? <laughs> if meningitis wiped your memory, then you wouldn't remember that. Because your memory is wiped. Oh, turn the music up, bitch! in the can. A compound I created based on an old Wiccan recipe. Sea salt, shark oil, iron shavings, desiccated squirrel semen, wolf hair. Good stuff. Squirrel semen. Let us take a trip down memory lane. Okay, never mind. Your past has been hidden from you for a reason. Rewind a bit, who are you again? Are you really that stupid, Dante? He looks exactly like you. How is this not registering to you? Game rips off the still frame cut sequence from Twisted Metal Black. But after all that anger, violence, and death, you have to dig deep. Dig into your own heart. To see if you're still sane. Or if you can still call yourself human. Hey, remember how this Dante is half demon, half angel? Yeah, so what the f would he know about being human? I can help. If you help me first. Discount Demon Morgan Freeman. And our father, Sparta, vanished forever. A fate worse than death, they say. Damn, so Sparta goes from a legendary badass dark knight to some weak middle-aged man who gets easily caught and then banished forever. It's probably just his human form, but still. Pretty pathetic, if you ask me. I remember. I remember my mother. Her name was Eva. I had a brother too. We were a family. Dante's entire backstory is completely explained within the second chapter of the game. This is only a sin if you leave only the audio. Okay, listen to me. We don't have much time. Get down on your knees. Put your hands up. Do not fight back. I'm scared. Because according to legend, the only beings that can slay a demon king are Nephilim, a hybrid of angel and demon. Hey, maybe I misread my Bible, but aren't Nephilim supposed to be half human, half angel? Not half angel, half demon? Blah, 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 Man, that key looks strangely similar to the symbol on Dante's back. I'm your prime date, you ugly sack of shit. You know what your problem is? You're too clingy. This is exactly what most people would say about us. I'm afraid I've got some bad news, Dante. My personal view on the terrorists is that they are disgusting, degrading, ghastly, sleazy, period, and generally nauseating. The worst of them is Dante. 
the whole world would benefit greatly by his non-existence. Couldn't have said it better myself. Number 83, the cold train! <laughs> Let's go, Dante. Wait. What? What about Kat? There's no way out in the real world. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Wait just a damn minute. In the beginning of the game, Cat explains to Dante that being in limbo is like being in two different dimensions. And if Dante were to shoot her, he would kill her. My name is Cat. I'm not a demon. I'm still in the real world. You're in limbo. How come I can see you clearly? I'm a medium. A, a psychic. I can phase into limbo and communicate with you. If I pull the trigger, I'll die. So why can't Dante shoot these asshole SWAT members and save Cat from being captured? Oh yeah! I forgot! What? This is not for this. Just doing God's work. You're not big or clever, Dante. You're tiny and stupid. Oh, no. Get up, you little emo punk. It's kind of sad knowing that Bob Barbus, who is basically the secondary villain of this game, is the most entertaining character of the game. If they get their hands on that data, everything that I've worked for will be for nothing. Oh no, hint hint that Virgil is gonna turn into a villain. He's using the term I instead of we. We have access to Mundus's unborn child? This is exactly what we need to get him out of his lair. No, we use this to save Cat. Dante, that's madness. You would risk the future of mankind for a girl. Cat put herself through hell to protect us. We'll find another way to get Mundus. Dante, I am not abandoning her. Oh, look, character development. More crappy dubstep. So is anyone else getting a migraine by now? Isn't this basically the same mutation that Irving had in Resident Evil 5? There's nothing we can do, let's go. Go ahead, I'll be right behind you. Dante! Give me a second! One, two, three, four, five, six... Say the name. Beetlejuice! 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 Hey, great way to confuse the player by having the damn grapple icon blend in with the light, assholes! She was right. This is hell. Yeah. <laughs> you wanna know what else is hell? Playing this game. <laughs> All too easy. Man, Virgil, I remember a time when you had these little things called honor and integrity. Might controls everything. And without strength, you cannot protect anything. Now you just go around performing abortions and shooting women in the head. Haha, <laughs> what a dumbass. He got himself trapped behind the pillar. We make quite the team. I'm stronger. I'm smarter. I'm better looking. Bullshit. Virgil has the white hair, which automatically makes him better looking than you. I mean, come on, look at this sexiness. I have his? Yes. His demon child had something like that. We start there. Wait, did Mundus just say he was the master of the universe? <laughs> no, you're not, asshole! This guy is the only master of the universe. Discount Twitter. Wait a minute. This is supposed to be a reboot, right? You know, something completely different than the franchise that it was built upon? So why am I fighting the exact same final boss battle as I did in Devil May Cry 3? Eh? I don't know who I am anymore. I know exactly who you are. You are Dante. Nothing more and nothing less. Well, it looks like we'll have to disagree with you there, Cat. Because it's bullshit! Because it's bullshit. It's your brain. 
denying the reality you create. Yeah, well, fuck you too. Okay, time for some real talk, people. See, after watching this video, and after watching the Gaming Sense video on this game, a lot of you seem to be under the impression that we, in particular me, hate this game. And you would be dead wrong. I actually enjoy this game quite a bit. A lot more than I thought I would. And whether, whatever it is, whether it's a reboot, a reimagining, an alternate universe, whatever the hell people want to call it, it is a Devil May Cry game, and it shall be judged as a Devil May Cry game. And as a Devil May Cry game, it's actually pretty damn good. As far as ranking it, I would rank this right below Devil May Cry 1. Devil May Cry 3, Devil May Cry 1, and then this game. Gameplay-wise, it's fantastic. It improves on a lot of things that I had, quite a bit of problems with it. In fact, let me tell you this. After playing this game, I went back and played Devil May Cry 3. You know, just to get, because I got the HD collection. And so I went back and played Devil May Cry 3 for just for nostalgia purposes. And as I was playing the game, I felt a little naked, not having that grapple weapon. I thought that was a really cool gameplay mechanic that was implemented into this DMC game. That was sorely lacking in every other game. I mean, it was a great improvement over the uh, grapple that Nero had in Devil May Cry 4. I actually like this game quite a bit, despite the horribly written dialogue and the cliched storyline and somewhat underdeveloped wooden characters that our beloved DMC characters are. It's quite a fun game. It has the one thing that a lot of games these days don't have, and that's replay value. You know, you beat the game on Nephilim, which is what we did for this video, and then you go back and play the game on a harder difficulty and collect all the items because there are things in the beginning of the game deliberately placed there specifically for New Game Plus. So don't get it twisted, people. This game is very enjoyable. It's a decent hack and slash game. Is <laughs> It's not better than Bayonetta, but hey, not a whole lot of hack and slash games are in my opinion. Did it need to be made? Not really. I mean, Capcom only made it because the sales for Devil May Cry 4 were a little bit lukewarm. But I dig it a lot. I like, I especially like the uh, art design and the boss battle with Bob Barba. See, there's another thing. That guy is the most entertaining character in this game. And one of my gripes with it was that he was a little bit underdeveloped. I mean... Could have been throwing, he, he could have gave him more clever lines to throw at Dante during the boss battle. Uh, you know, hype him up as a better villain, but whatever. It's neither here nor there. I can ignore the fact that this is a Devil May Cry game. If you could just go in with an open mind, I think you'll find yourselves enjoying this game quite a bit. Just like I did. I got it, I was able to get it on a PlayStation Plus. Uh, I gotta admit, I, at first I did kind of hate it, you know, because I was still in nostalgia mode, but as soon as I got done playing it for the first time, I was like, you know what, this is actually not that bad. It's not that bad. See, the reason why we chose to make fun of it is because it's an easy target, you know? A lot of people, a lot of hardcore Devil May Cry fans hated it at launch, and some of them still do to this day, but not us. That video is basically a representation about how I felt when I first played the game and how a lot of other people felt playing the game. So I hope a lot of you learned your lesson that not everything is what it seems to be. So overall, DMC, Devil May Cry, fun action game. Despite the cliches, the wooden characters, and the 
horribly, horribly written dialogue, it gets a thumbs up. And that's all I got to say about that. Until then, take care and game on.